From the early 2000s to 2007, a campaign was started to choose seven wonders of the world from a selection of 200 existing monuments. 100 million votes were cast all throughout the globe, and the results officially put in place seven new wonders, which are the Great Wall of China, Petra, the Colosseum, Chichen Itza, Machu Picchu, the Taj Mahal, and last but certainly not least, Christ the Redeemer. Well, these are the seven wonders in our universe, but what are the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe? Throughout the deep core, core worlds, colonies, inner rim, mid rim, and outer rim, there existed wonderful natural and man-made phenomena that many individuals throughout the universe marveled upon. Quick disclaimer, the seven wonders listed in this video are a combination of natural and man-made wonders, as opposed to the distinguished lists in our world. Without further ado, let's jump right in and reveal the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe. First, we have the Dune Sea located on the planet of Tatooine. This was an endless majestic expanse of breathtaking golden sand known for its dark beauty. At dusk, Tatooine's two suns were set over the desert and cast a heavenly glow that only the eyes could do justice. Archaeological evidence has suggested that the Dune Sea was once a real sea, that Tatooine's two suns had dried up, and although many colonists found it hard to believe that water once flowed over these golden sands, Fossil bearing rocks and eroding cannons seem to support the tales of the Jawars, which also indicated a real ocean once existed. The Dune Sea also played host to the Moss Esper Grand Arena and the Palace of Jabba the Harp, so it was a place rich in unique history and culture. Next, we have the Petronaki Arena located on the planet of Uranosis. This is very similar to the Colosseum in Rome, which is perhaps why it is in this list but it was built on a grander and more opulent scale. It was used for Petronaki gladiatorial battles between creatures and sentient beings, but looking at it proves it is so much more than just an arena for fighting. It is symbolic of success, and in evenings it would be sundrenched producing a cataclysmic orange glow throughout everywhere in its vast wake. The arena is a natural formation, carved out by millennia of withering, with customization from the Juranosans. The laurel wars of the arena base included ancient low relief carvings depicting famous battles and events, so it was truly a monument rich in history, and was a living and breathing work of art on a colossal scale. Its intricately detailed spire like mounds made of stone powder towered into the ear, showcasing its architectural excellence and years of tireless construction and its design undoubtedly influenced the construction of amphitheaters throughout the universe. Next, we have the Utapau Sinkhole located on the planet of Utapau. Or is so known as the Power Sinkhole, this deep rocky void plummets deep within the planet's surface, causing your heart to skip a beat when you look down over the ledge. This was a natural formation which amazingly housed the subterranean settlement of Power City, home to a million habitats. So it's not just a wonder of the Star Wars universe you had to gaze upon from afar, you could actually live in it. No barriers or cautious tour guides to stop you from getting up close and personal to take that much desired picture. Utapau's complex tidal forces are responsible for producing this captivating natural wonder which caused massive currents in the world ocean that lay beneath the underside of the planet's outer crust. At the bottom, as seen here, are beautiful crystal clear blue pools and grottos, which sparkled at night under Utapau's nine moons, producing what is one of the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe. The next seventh wonder of the Star Wars universe was a must see, and to view the aquatic beauty involved here, guessed it, a trip by submarine. Orto Ganga, or so known as Gangang City was located beneath the surface of Lake Pawanga on the planet of Naboo, and was founded by Barth Gallo in 3000 BBY. Its shiny transparent buildings were hydrostatic force fields. Standing inside the city, you could witness the expansive glow of its circular bubbles that turned the surrounding aquatic abyss into a show of lights. You could perhaps see why Boss Ness wouldn't want to go anywhere else, because Orto Gangar is like a boss nass, and also a deserving seventh wonder of the Star Wars universe. This is Naboo's most enduring icon, that's for sure. Next, 
the next wonder of the Star Wars universe was Felucia Jungle, located on the planet of Felucia. The Felucia Jungle was so much more than just a place Aayla Secura was brutally killed. It was the seventh wonder of the Star Wars universe, known for its hundreds of unique plants that came in eye-catching colors. When the sun shone, the environment glittered like multicolored glass, creating a natural stage show for all to see. The fungal jungle of Felucia was straight for miles, meaning there was an abundance of wildlife including native jelly grubs and frolicking sarlax, which happens to be my favorite animal. It was a paradise for botanists, and its oxygen-rich atmosphere made you feel invigorated. Sadly, a lot of the forest was destroyed during the Separatist Crisis, and so many of these plants here were stomped on by ATTE workers. But that still does not take away from the fact that this is the seventh wonder of the Star Wars universe. Next! The next seventh wonder of the Star Wars universe was located on Coruscant, and is undoubtedly one of the most iconic landmarks ever, for both its architecture and rich history that spans thousands of years. The grand icon of galactic peace and justice dates back to 5000 BBY, when the Galactic Republic granted the Jedi a plot of land to build it on. Whereas the Jedi did not originally want this head-turning monument to become a symbol of war or power, that didn't really pan out, because it later became a very fortress-like structure. The Jedi Temple is instantly recognizable by its five distinct spires, and the architects employ the use of a very simple design utilizing solid concrete. But despite this, it still managed to dominate the Coruscant skyline with mystique and strength, attracting the attention of millions throughout the Star Wars universe. For our last seventh wonder, we have none other than the Great Pit of Cocoon, or so located on Tatooine. This pit was a large sand basin, and inside the pit was an endangered and rare species known as the Sarlacc. The Sarlacc had beautiful off-red skin with a milky tinge. It also had a hard shell shaped mouth which had a beaming smile that were tugged at your heartstrings, and it also made a cute chirping sound like a pet budgie. So this combined with the awesome geometrical slopes of the Carcoon Pit made for quite a spectacle that many came to observe. Such a scene here. Dabba would often host parties next to it. The Sarlacc's long tentacles would move about almost in a performance-like manner that would have you mesmerized. I so often hear people say the Sarlacc was dangerous, but this is just propaganda propagated by Separatist sponsored lore. I have suspicions that the Separatists could have been running a large black market poaching ring, harvesting Sarlacc body parts and skin for luxurious furniture and Givenchy slippers and the Gucci. So this for sure explains certain things. So there you have it, the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe. From crumbling ancient stadiums to aquatic bubble cities, the Star Wars universe truly did have wonders beyond compare. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you endorse these as the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe, and I shall see you all in the next video. The archives for the seven wonders of the Star Wars universe are now complete. And remember, be happy. We lost the transmission, sir.